Welcome to AF Math and Engineering. If you're enjoying our channel, hit the subscribe button and the like button down below because we're always releasing new content. Enjoy! Hi everybody, this is Avi from AF Math. We are continuing to our second video on interest rates, simple versus compound. We are still on the topic of principles of engineering economics, better known as ACON. And in this video, we are gonna do another example of interest rate question, which will hopefully better help you understand the topic. If you need more help with the definitions and the formulas, please watch the first video, which we spent a great amount of time explaining everything. And let's dive right into the question. In this case, we have two questions. Question number one, you deposit $6,000 in a saving account that earns 9% simple interest per year. How long in years will it take you to double your balance? Question number two, suppose instead that you deposit the $6,000 in another savings account that earns 8% interest compounded yearly. Now, how long will it take you to double your balance? So in both questions, we are going to deposit a certain amount of money, which is exactly the same, it's $6,000. In each question, we'll have a different interest rate. In the first question, we have nine. In the second question, we have eight. And in the first question, we are gonna use a simple interest rate while in the second question we are going to use a compound interest rate the only missing integer here i would say is time the only thing that we don't really know in this question is time we want to know how long it will take us to double our deposit with two different interest rates so let's put the question at the top like we did in the first video and let's start solving it Quickly before, let's go over the definition of simple interest and compounded interest. Simple interest is the rate applied to the original amount when computing the amount of interest. Basically, the interest earned during each period does not earn additional interest during the remaining period. Our formula is F equals P brackets 1 plus I times N, where F and P is our earn value and investment in dollars i is the interest in percent and n is the time in year month or day as for compounded interest compound interest is the interest earned in each period calculated on the basis of the total amount at the end of the previous period which means that our interest is accumulated our formula is F equals P brackets 1 plus I to the power of N, where both integers are exactly the same. Now, if you are not sure that you understand the definition or the formula, go to the first video. You'll have 10 minutes of clear explanation. So let's see what do we need to solve this question. In question one, we discussed a simple interest rate per year, which means that we need to apply the simple interest rate formula. In question two, we discussed a compounded interest rate, which means we need to use equation number two. So let's start setting up the question. Our deposit, P, is $6,000. Now here's the tricky part in the question. What is our F? If the question is asking us, how long will it take you to double your balance, which means that our new balance should be doubled from our investment, which means that our new earned value should be 12,000, which is 6,000 times two. Our I in the first question is 9%. Basically what we need to find in the question is the N. So simple enough, we set up our equation. Before placing the numbers inside the equation, we can start to better rearrange the equation to find n. So first we'll take our p to the other side. 
f over p equals 1 plus i times n which means that we can take now the 1 to the other side so it's f over p minus 1 equals i times n and all we have left now is to take our i to the other side and we will have a full equation where f over p minus 1 over i and now that we have our equation ready we can start plug in the numbers so n equals 12k over 6k minus 1 over 0 0.09 which is just the same as saying 2 minus 1 over 0 0.09 and our answer is 11.1 .1, which means that it would take 11.1 .1 years for us to double our balance okay so if we deposit six thousand dollars with a nine percent interest after 11 years we would get an earning of twelve thousand now this was the simple question let's go over to question number two and this type of questions is usually what we can encounter in akon in akon we have two types of question the first kind we'll see if we understand the concept and then they will compare between simple and compound just like in the first question and they will ask where would you make more money using a or b the second type is that they assume that you have a formula page they give you the question and you need to pick the correct formula and inside the formula you need to interpolate the formula to find something else so if the formula should be used to find the earned value this time you will have to use the formula to find time the best way to prepare for it is to take every formula and interpolate it and play with it a bit in excel or in your calculator and really understand what the formula means and what happens when we change terms in the formula so let's move on to compounded interest we set up our equation and this time we can see that finding the n will be a bit more complicated we can take the p to the other side again and we will be left with this concept and this time let's plug away the numbers so we can try to understand what is going on here 12 over 6 equals 2 2 equals 1 plus 0 0.08 remember in this question the interest rate is different than in the first question and now that we have this equation how can we solve it the easiest way to solve it would be using log and basically turning this expression into a log expression putting it in your calculator and getting the solution however in many universities the professors don't let you use a smart calculator and the calculator that you have can only do a logarithmic to the power of 10 which means that you need to convert it probably into LAN form so let's go over this equation and see how we can get this equation first into log and later into LAN so I'm going to use a bit of colors here so it will be easier for you to follow so if you remember when we have a term a equals b to the power of n we could say that this term is equal to log b a equals n and this is my note regarding the calculator that if you have a simple calculator and you can only do log to the power of 10 you can't really do log 1.08 to 2 okay you'll have to turn it into lan so if you remember log b of a is equal to lan a over lan b and this is called a change in base okay and by changing the base here from log to lan we can find our n and our n will equal lan 2 over lan 1 plus 0 0.08 now if we set this equation in our calculator we will see that lan 2 over lan 1 1.08 equals 9 which means that if we deposit six thousand dollars which earns a compounded interest of 8% yearly after nine years we will be able to double our deposit from six thousand to twelve thousand dollars now it's really important 
that you practice this in your calculator. If you're not taking ACON, if you're not an engineering student and you can use a smart calculator, then you have no issues here. You can even open every online uh, calculator and it will give you the solution. Mm. But if you're not using a smart calculator and you usually solve questions in Excel or online, I guarantee when you'll get to the test, something will happen and you will lose the points. The best way to practice is using your calculator in understanding the formulas. So again, if you're not really sure about how to use the formula or regarding the definitions, go back to the first video and watch it. So as always, I advise you to solve the question yourself and practice it and try to take the question and say, okay, let's say that I need to find the I this time. Let's say that I need to find the P. Break the equation, take the terms, try to find different integers. And by really understanding the equation, I'm sure you'll do great in the test. That's it for now. Thank you for staying with us until now. Hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for more.